Okay, so here's a strange little rivet tidbit. Basically, uh, I've got some framing that is sloped. It's joist specifically, and this is <laughs> this is where this little situation comes into play. It's with joists. So this joist is actually a full joist as it spans here, but it looks like in a coarse view, in a coarse view only, because if I go to um, a fine detail level, you can see the full geometry here in plan or medium. So we'll put it back at course because of course that's the way we typically show our framing plans. So if I just move this over a little bit, let me do that again. Just move it over and let it bark at me and say, yeah, and join an elements. Uh, then I see the full span of that joist. So it's got something to do with the join, and that's something that it took me a little while to figure this out. So essentially, um, if I were to draw another one, slope framing here, let's just do that. I'll just select this guy, do a create similar, and then line it up, have it frame across here, and you're going to get the same result, essentially, that. Uh, like modify, you're going to get this kind of partial looking joist. Uh, view range does not affect this at all. It's It's got something to do with the join because soon as I go to the modify uh, join, beam join, beam column joins tool and then change the direction of the join here and then hit click modify, notice that I see the full span. And so this guy, same thing, go ahead and edit the uh, the joins, just turn that around and then hit modify you see the full uh, length of the joist in the span so just something about the joining properties of the uh, joist as it joins essentially to another joist on the other side that is sloping it, it just for some reason that edits the graphics such that you get that shortened up joist at least that's the way it looks like in a in a coarse scale uh, framing plan so uh, that's the tool to use right here beam column joins